friends, what is up? I'm Kat, welcome back to my channel. My crib, as some might call it. That's false, I don't live on the internet. Well, I mean, I kinda do. Spooky season is officially here and I am ready for it. I am ready for pumpkin patches, I am ready for sweater weather, I am ready for scary movie marathons, and most of all, I am ready for costume parties. I feel like it's really easy to spot theater kids at costume parties because they're the ones who just get a little too into it. You know exactly what I mean. Because it's me, I'm the one who's way too into it. Because this is the very first Halloween video of the season, I thought it would be fun to make it a little more interesting. And by interesting, I mean realistic. So for today's video, I'm going to thrift Broadway Halloween costumes. I'm allowed to use stuff that I already have, pieces already in my own closet, but I'm only allowing myself a maximum of $10 to be spent to complete the costume. And bonus challenge, I need to fix or alter any of the costumes or pieces. I'm only giving myself 20 minutes to do so. This is the Halloween video for you if you're a Broadway nerd who's short on time and short on cash, which let's be real, it's all of us. Also, if you're new here, hit subscribe to join the Broadway internet cult. Did I mention we're a cult? Haha, <laughs> oops, too late, you're part of the cult now. Subscribe. Question of the day. Have you ever thrifted a Halloween costume? If so, how did it go? Let me know in the comments down below. That accidentally rhymed. I'm Dr. Seuss now. That's how it works, I think. I've definitely DIY'd Halloween costumes in the past. In fact, I would say that like 95% of my Halloween costumes have been DIY'd to some degree. But I don't think I've ever actually thrifted a Halloween costume because being real, all of the trendy thrift shops and really cool secondhand shops that you see like cool internet people going to in Los Angeles are insanely expensive, like way out of my budget. So today I'm going to go to an actually affordable thrift shop and just kind of cross my fingers and hope there's something good. Let's head on out. Okie dokie, we are now parked outside of the thrift shop. Let's go see what we can get. Be good, Nathan. Oh my god, Inga, I love your work. Young Frankenstein, is that you? Okay, wait, this is the coolest duffel bag I have ever seen. What is this? I love Pocahontas so much. No, thank you. Spooky. It's a whole bunch of Ottomans that are fully automated. Look at this. They pop up. Obviously not anything I could wear for Halloween, but if you guys didn't know, I'm currently redoing my studio area and that might be really cool for the podcast corner. I don't know if I have the room for it though. This shirt reminds me so much of like mid 2000s Forever 21. Maybe I can find the long black dress and go as Morticia or Wednesday or something. Okay, so I've been browsing for a little bit and I still haven't found anything for a Halloween costume. I'm actually really nervous that we're not going to be able to find anything. We've got an intricate dark red blazer. Heather Chandler is shaking. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? Oh my God. And there are so many of them. It's like a whole matching set. I am so genuinely confused. What were these for? Like a dance routine? Cause they're all just slightly different. I have no idea, but this is so cool. Okay, the weirdest part is that all of these pink suit tops are all size six, which is my size. So maybe it's fate that I own one of these. Oh my God. This is so insane. I love them. This is so incredible. I have no idea, but I love it so much. I'm trying to figure out if I can turn it into like an Elle Woods courtroom oh, yeah. thing. That looks like when Elle's trying to convince the Harvard board to let her in and she shows up in a full marching band oh, no. outfit. Okay, I'm trying to button all of these, but there's like a lot of inside buttons, so I feel like I'm buttoning a bib, so I feel like I'm a big baby. Thank God we had so many different options of the exact same pink blazer in my size at this thrift shop. Let's see if we can find a white button down. Oof, that was ear blood. Let's see if we can find, okay. You stop squeaking, please. We need to find a white button down shirt for the Heather's costume because I actually don't own a white button down shirt. That's kind of hysterical and very 80s looking. I'm trying to find Halloween costumes. Ewok. 
mom. We are back in the car, we have our haul, and not only do we have our haul, we have a heavily discounted haul because a lot of the sweaters were like a little bit broken or missing the closure. Real steep discount on these. I am so excited to try to like actually put them together in outfits now. Let's go home and let's get to it. We are back from the thrift shop and I am so insanely impressed with what we found. Being real, I did not think it was gonna go that well. Honestly, my backup plan was finding a tie-dye t-shirt and being like, I'm Sheila from hair. And also I'm just generally nervous about trying to pull together the rest of the costume based off of stuff I already have in my closet. <laughs> that being said, let's get on into it and try on costume number one. Costume number one is Elle Woods from Legally Blonde the Musical. Now, when I first got this blazer, I definitely wanted to do marching band L from what you want when she's trying to convince Harvard to let her in. But I realized what really makes that costume is of course the giant marching hat and those iconic marching boots. And there's no way I was going to be able to find those and find them under budget. So I decided to work with what I have and do courtroom L instead. I have a big pink bag, this is from Coach. I wish I could put a tiny chihuahua in here because that would be iconic. And then I'd have a dog. And dogs make everything better. I have these little sunglasses with the pink detailing. And I have this pink corduroy mini skirt going on. I do really love the bling on the jacket because it feels very Broadway show girl. You know how everything's covered in rhinestones even if it doesn't need to be? I will say now that I have the whole outfit on, I don't feel terribly confident because it doesn't fit me that well. In fact, the jacket is actually much bigger than I thought. There's actually a good like, two or three extra inches in the waist, but I'm not a very good seamstress, so I couldn't. So I just feel kind of boxy and I feel like you're kind of losing my figure in here. This jacket was originally listed at $12.99 at the thrift shop, but we got an even steeper discount on it because it's a little imperfect. So we only paid $5.99. Fashion win! On to costume number two. It's everyone's good old fashioned favorite mythic Heather Chandler. Okay, this might be my favorite thing of all time. I've definitely done a number of Heather Chandler costumes over the years and I think this one is by far the best. The detailing, the sparkles, the shoulder pads. I feel like this is just the best. I will say, of course, it's big on me. It's long in the sleeves, it's huge in the waist, but for like $6, you can't pass it up. Oh, also, this is the white button down that we also found at the thrift shop. I am obsessed with this like ladder detailing here. I feel like it just kind of elevates the look rather than just a regular white button down or just a white tank top. To complete the look, I added this red and black hound's tooth, I guess would be the correct terminology for the print of this skirt. I've had it since like middle school, I think it was a hand-me-down. Red lipstick, red scrunchie, and I threw on these cute little gray knee-high socks. Moving right along to costume number two and a half. Okay, so I wasn't originally going to include this in this video, but on my way out of the thrift shop, I found this cute little blue blazer for like $4, so I thought, what the heck, why not? If I was doing like a full Veronica Sawyer costume, I'd probably do a wig or a croquet mallet or like a copy of Moby Dick or, you know, something to really sell it a little more, but Heather's is such a good, staple, cheap, recognizable, fun group costume idea. For this look, I'm wearing the same white button-down shirt as earlier, but I paired it with just like a plain black skirt. Same gray knee highs from earlier. A dancer dances. Oh, I thought I crotch shot at everyone. Hopefully I didn't. Ironically, I think this might be the most well-fitting blazer out of all of them. It also is the only one, oh no, they have little baby shoulder pads. And I feel like there's something so Halloween about final girls, as in like the girl who survives the movie, traditionally in a horror movie, but I guess Veronica Sawyer is a final girl. I don't know, but I love it. Okie doke, let's go ahead and try on that retro little costume number three. I am so hyped for this one. Okay, yes please. I am in love with this. I'm gonna take these off because they have a very bad glare and they're making me dizzy for some reason even though they're not prescription. To really sell the whole penny from Hairspray Vibe, I put my hair up in these little pigtails. I threw on this little vintage cardigan from the 60s. If I was wearing this out, I'd do like cute little frilly socks and little sneakers. Can we discuss the need for cute Halloween costumes that allow you to also wear sneakers? I lose my mind when I see people like out dancing at Halloween or even trick-or-treating or like doing haunted houses and they're there 
wear in like stilettos. Not for me, dog. I can't live that life. Maybe some heeled boots, but like that's the extent of it. What Disney character does this remind you of? Because I should do Dapper Day and I should like actually put something together and use this. I want to go as the little green men from Toy Story. Maclaw. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Over the shoulder is definitely the way to do this with this dress. That's how you do it. I am just so impressed with this dress. This is so cool. 10 out of 10. Good find. Do you know what? No. Great find. This was actually a ton of fun and I'm really impressed that I was able to put together some Broadway inspired Halloween costumes with like zero time and zero budget. And I feel like if I had just a little bit more time, I could make them even better and find even more. Let me know what other Halloween themed videos you want to see on this channel in the comments down below or what Halloween themed vlogs you want to see on my second channel. Which, by the way, first part of my studio renovation series is going up this weekend on my vlog channel. Plus, we've got a ton of fun, exciting theater -y activities that I can't wait to tell you guys about that I'll be vlogging at as well. So find all of that stuff on my second channel. Again, if you're new here and you made it this far and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Join the cult. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out and I'd really appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.